Hello guys, back to tutorial again. In the last video, we implemented user interface and core data model, model for our app. This time we are going to implement a picker view and table uh, view for our app. So before we begin, I'm going to add a table view cell uh, and a view controller file. So let's right click and add a new file. Corporate class uh, UAW cell BP cell. I'm going to add one more file. This one is going to be our second view controller UI view controller service. I'm going to set our second VC as the save VC. I'm also going to set our table cell BP cell. I'm also going to provide any reusable identifier, let it be ID. Now I'm going to map all the out, uh, text fields and labels. So first I'm going to open service here. First one is going to be I'm going to create a outlet for the task text field and also one for priority text field. I'm also going to create an outlet for picker view. Now I'm going to create an action for our save button. Okay, now I'm going to uh, open our cell, table cell. Let's create outlet for task. and priority now I'm going to open our main view controller I'm going to create an outlet for our table view okay that's it now I'm going to say we see here I'm going to import UI pick up your delegate and UI pick up your data source. And let's set pick up your dot delegate to self pick up your dot data source is equal to self. I'm going to uh, add a method number of components simply going to return one we have we need only one component and number of rows in component here we have a uh, total three rows high medium and low so I'm going to create an array let uh, priority array first one is going to be high second one is going to be medium and third one is going to be low
So the number of rows count is going to be priority array dot count. Okay, now when the user select on the pri select the priority, we need to display the part particular selector priority uh, into our priority text text field. So pick a view, uh, did select row. Uh, here we're going to display our priority dot text. is equal to uh, our priority array we will fetch the data using our row count okay now instead of a title for row we will use attribute a title for row Picker view attribute uh, this one attributed title for row and here I'm going to create an attribute let attribute is equal to ns attributed string I'm going to select uh, one with the key option and string is going to be our priority array dot row array of row and I'm also going to change the foreground color of our picker view uh, rows so let's create an array let color array is equal to first one is going to be red UI color dot red and second is going to be your color rot orange and third one is going to be green but I will not use the system green color I will say color literal and select I will select some dark color dark green color okay this is okay now here double click on this one and ns attribute string dot key dot uh, will select the foreground color and it's going to be color array using the row count we will fit the data and uh, remove the question mark and we will and we will return attribute okay that's it and we will check the uh, program ones Yes, I'm going to uh, click the plus button here. Is you can see we have our picker view ready. I'm going to select a medium. Medium is here now in our priority row, a priority label, a uh, text text field. So let's implement our table view controller. B UI table view delegate. UI table view data source I will set table view dot delegate to self and table view dot data source is equal to self now number of rows in section 
uh, I'll simply return three later we will change and now W cell 4 row at index path let we will create our cell let cell is equal to our table view is going to be table dot uh, d key reusable cell with identifier and index path identifier is going to be id and index path simply index path and we will cast uh, this one is our uh, w cell p cell and we will simply return cell okay that's it so guys see you in next video thanks for watching